guys, Mike here. Um, I'm gonna keep this video this week super short. Uh, There's just something I found out being, I wouldn't necessarily say a beginner, but just it's not something that I knew to even look up or look at. Um, so I made a big goof on a purchase, which cost me actually a lot of headache while I was out at the property. And I thought it might be helpful to kind of fill you guys in on what that is and uh, give you guys a quick rundown. Um, anybody experienced already knows about this stuff. Heck, beginners probably do enough research on this stuff nowadays to know. I unfortunately didn't, and I thought it would help you guys to know. Just real quick to show you the problems I was running into, I had a really hard time seeing my cuts um, trying to use the circular saw, the new one at the property. Uh, because of it, I had a really hard time getting the angles and everything correct to actually cut the wood the way I had to cut it. And I was starting to get really frustrating, not understanding why I was having such a hard time with it. Um, and I want to go ahead and show you guys what I learned this week, just to maybe help some of you newbies to all of this as well, um, not make the same mistake I did. Okay. So I've owned the Ryobi circular saw for a couple of years now. I want to say probably six or seven years even. As you can see, the, the saw has gotten some use. It works fine. I just wanted a second saw. Notice how the blade is mounted on the left hand side here. Well, I bought the skill 20 volt, um, not knowing that there would be a difference. And notice how the blade is mounted on the right. So I did some research. It has nothing to do with left or right handed, um, though in some situations it can make things a little easier. It actually has different functions. First of all, if the blade is mounted on the left, you're gonna have a much easier time doing things that require you looking at the blade itself. It's a lot easier from a right-handed perspective to go look here, see the blade, and line it up with the measuring notch at the top. Of course, this also allows for better grip this way, and is great for cross-cutting, stuff like that. This does not mean that the right-handed, I'm sorry, the right-mounted blade is for left-handed people. It simply means that this one can serve a different purpose. It's a lot easier with this one to do a rip cut along a long piece of plywood. So as you can see here, if I have it sitting right here and start it, I can see the blade and it's a lot easier for me to go ahead and see the line and walk alongside of it. I would go ahead and wager for the most part, a left-handed, or I'm sorry, a left bladed circular saw it's going to come in a lot handier for most people. Um, though if you do a lot of rip cuts and stuff like that, you might want to end up considering getting yourself a right mounted uh, blade. That's it from me today. If you find value in this kind of stuff, you'd like to tell you guys more about the things that I've learned, please subscribe, comment, and like the video. And I'll talk to you guys next week.